Hey everyone, thanks for watching. There seems to be a lot of debate about steel core ammunition and determining its composition. I wanted to share what I've learned. Maybe it'll help some of you determine what you have. The magnet test is pretty much useless. It's no good for determining that your bullets have a steel core. It's only good for confirming that they don't under certain circumstances. The reason for this is that almost all of the, your 7.62 by 39 ammo that I've encountered has a steel case instead of brass. There's your steel and there's your brass. So the steel will attract a magnet, the brass will not. So how can you tell if you have steel core ammo? The best way I've determined is to actually pull a bullet and examine it. If you don't know how to pull a bullet, then click here for a tutorial. I have found that almost all steel core projectiles are over an inch long, while the lead core are shorter. The reason for this is lead is heavier, so less is required. If your bullet has an open base, then you can probe the end of it with a sharp object like a pin and see if it's soft lead or hard steel. Also, most of the steel core that I've encountered has a boat tail design, whereas this has a flat base, and this has somewhat of a flat base. So, here's four rounds. Number one and number two are both steel core. Number three is regular lead core ammo from Walmart. Comes in a package like this. Most of you have probably seen it before. And this fourth one is Hungarian ammo that was given to me by someone that thought it might be steel core. Once I pulled the bullet and checked it out, it revealed that it's lead. So you can see that all of these attract a magnet. So I hope that you found this interesting and perhaps it'll help you determine some of what you have. Also, don't confuse steel case for steel core. They are very different. Thanks for watching.